We're just gonna go on a bug hunt. That's all we're gonna be doing. So I didn't even bring my fly rod today. Some identify stoneflies, mayflies, uh, caddisflies, whatever's in the river there. And yeah, we're just gonna go look at bugs, flipping rocks and having fun. I think it's pretty fun. So stay with me. For a log, there's a stone crawling underneath this log here. There's some caddis casings right there. You'll see the caddis casings are kind of like in a little rock web, kind of like a cocoon. But all these right here, these are all mayflies. I mean, there's all different types of color variations in these mayfly nymphs. And these mayfly nymphs are pretty easy to tell. You just kind of look at them here and see. They have these flat bodies. Typically will have three tails. But just cool little bugs. And then let's see if there was a stonefly here. There's one right there. So that little brown guy right there, that's a stonefly. So, a little brown stone, probably gonna turn into a salmon fly there. We have salmon fly stones and golden stones in this particular river. Now there's your big stone fly, so that guy's gonna be a salmon fly. He'll probably hatch this spring, get him back in the water, but this is your salmon fly stone. So you can see they have the long abdomen. Check out his underside there. He's got that orange color kind of coming on. So lots of stones on this rock. Stone, stone, you got mayflies here. These little, look at all these little mayflies. So these are all little mayflies crawling around, little tiny guys. The difference between a stonefly, what a mayfly is, and then caddis. I haven't seen as many caddis on this stretch. Um, I haven't seen any dry flies flying around as of yet, but it just takes, if you're going into a new river, you don't know what it's like, or you haven't been to that river for a while, it just takes a couple stones, just flipping them, some, some sticks or logs that are jammed into the river. Oh yeah! Woo. Just flipping those over, looking at them, and looking at the size, the color. Um, some mayflies are dark, some are light. Some of our stoneflies are light brown and dark brown. Then you have your golden stones too. So I'm gonna try to show you all those. But it just takes a little bit of investigating. It's kind of fun to see what's in your river. A whole bunch of mayflies right there. Got them all over. Logs are always a good spot to look for bugs and see what's out there. But there, there's a whole bunch of stones right there, big stones. There's a caddis right there. This looks like just like our jelly stone that we made a couple months ago. Oh, it's almost been a year. But that's a golden stone. You can tell just by the gold color variation on it. And then this is just your what a stone fly looks like. So when I'm looking at these stone flies, I'm looking at a long abdomen. And then they've got the antenna, two tails on the back. So kind of look like a little alien. I don't know. But. I always think these are the coolest bugs in the river. So there's our stonefly again. We also got some mayfly nymphs hanging on to the bottom there. And if you can see it, little caddis right there, kind of center of your screen, kind of moving now, but uncased caddis. So caddis will come uncased and cased, so like a little cocoon. These ones are just the uncased version there. They don't build a nest or anything. They just kind of live freely on the bottom and move around and do what they do. Caught that brown on our jelly stone. There's our jelly stone, so it looks just like that golden stone that we caught. 
but that's it so i saw him crawling around i always like fishing golden stones they always seem to be good producers and got him out of that sidewater over there so 